So this is um, this is our drink, uh, McDeeds Football Special. So we're a fourth generation family drinks business. My great grandfather set up the company. I'm now the, the next generation taking on the fourth generation who's involved with our business. Um, he launched the company originally. We were a beer. We bottled Guinness over on the quay in Remelton, and that spun off then into a soft drinks business. So his sons, my grandfather and my great uncles, developed a range of soft drinks, and one of them became Football Special. The origins of the drink are that the, that generation were heavily involved in setting up Footy Rovers Football Club, who are a very established and, and storied and famous soccer club here in Remelton. Um, and one of them was a teetotaler. So we didn't drink any alcohol and one of the issues was after they won, they would always fill a cup with whiskey. So feeling left out of these celebrations, he developed a, a non-alcoholic drink that had a foamy head on it. So when it poured out, it looked like a pint of, pint of Smithix really it looked like, um, so that he could use that to fill the cup. Uh, so it became known as Football Cup and over the years that name then developed and became Football Special. Just recently we've brought out our new ice cream range which is called Football Cup then, harking back to our original days. Um, we've always been based here in Remelton. We were based originally on the quay and just over now in the, the old creamery um, next to the town hall. Uh, unfortunately we no longer bottle in Remelton um, but that's our, our HQ, our, our distribution centre and all our office staff are all based there. So very, very proud to be from Remelton, very proud of Donegal. We've, since managed to sell football special really where the Donegal diaspora go so we have a distribution center in Glasgow um, and we have another in New York we don't tend to go to the rest of Ireland because we like to keep it in Donegal but we're happy to go to the parts of the world where Donegal folk go. I think it's probably just over the years uh, it's developed and it's became kind of synonymous with Donegal, not only with locals here but also with people who holiday here and I think that's one of the great advantages that we have that people who travel um, from abroad come to Donegal and try it. When they taste it then later they associate that taste with their holidays which is typically a happy memory. So we get a lot of, you know, we get a lot of kids and people who come to the Gaeltacht to Irish College as well, they'll, they'll always have such fond memories of football special based on their fond memories of Donegal. Um, and I think that's just over the years as it's, as it's only became synonymous, you know, it's, it's only became really sold here. When people go away and they can't, they can't believe that it's only sold here, they think it's sold everywhere. Um, and that becomes a real source of pride then to all people, which is, you know, it's so easy to sell that then for us. And it's, I mean, it's, it's very humbling for us then to be associated with the county. Yeah, well, I mean, it really does. We, we just go, we, we sell in Derry and, and we sell in parts of Belfast, really, and, and bits of Sligo and stuff, but it really, this is the heartland of it. Um, this is our, you know, this is where we've, we've managed to grow our business. I would think that it, back in the 50s and 60s, there was probably small soft drinks all over Ireland. In fact, there definitely was small soft drinks all over Ireland. We're the only one that has managed to kind of survive globalization and the bigger brands coming in. Um, and we've been able to keep our sales strong even though there are now Coke and Pepsi's of this world um, that are trying to come in and eat our market share. But Donegal folk have stayed loyal to us, which is what has kept our business sort of alive. Um, and which is great, yeah, when, when, when people, visitors come and people say, oh, you've got to try football special. That's, that's it's terrific to hear.